Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting a contender series bout in the strawweight division, the women's strawweight division, between Valeska Machado versus Piera Rodriguez. And how I see someone right here is this less than a minute to the video, less than 30 seconds of the video, I'm going with Piera Rodriguez. Piera Rodriguez. Piera Rodriguez. You know, for the people that come in the comment section that don't necessarily speak English or just want to pick. There you go. But um, you want to hear what I got to say about it? Here you go. So um, Machado versus Rodriguez. Low-key, Machado has a decent enough chance. Low-key. And where I'm going, again, Pierre Rodriguez. I'm picking her to win. But um, I see this one right here. I feel like Machado can be a bit one-dimensional. She had this show grappling at smidgen that report. But I feel like Rodriguez is definitely more um, experienced fighter. You know, what? It, actually, Machado was 8-2 versus 6-0. and zero. But Rodriguez, matter of fact, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird, it's a little bit weird. Because Rodriguez went from like, she just like went from fighting straight up tomato cans for like three fights or three or four fights. I think her, um, I don't know, actually probably five fights. Yeah, five fights. Her combined, her opponent's combined win record was 5-0. and I mean, not 5-0, and but five wins. They were like 0-2, 0-1. One was like 3-2 and and such and such. But ultimately, all their records wins, the total wins her opponents had prior to her last opponent's win record was like five in this five wins. I mean, they had losses, but they had five wins combined between like five opponents. Then she jumped up before the woman who had like, what, 25 wins and stuff like 10 losses or something like that. So she made a huge leap out of nowhere and came in there and just showed up. Maybe her opponent record was with 25 10, but that it definitely was a credible opponent who went in there, been there with Whaley Zhang and been there with some other, you know, standout women's MMA fighters. Didn't win, but she was in there with them. But experienced fighter nonetheless, trained with some solid people. Solid experience, solid will around it. And Pierre Rodriguez, I feel she beat her everywhere the fight took place. So she's been an experienced fighter, but now that's besides the point. So, but Pierre Rodriguez definitely has the better win. Definitely has four real competition. Where I feel like Machado has not four real competition. Rodriguez has four only one real competition, but she showed up. Machado has not four real competition yet, so you can't say she'll show up. And so far, she has only shown to be one dimensional. Where Rodriguez has shown to be multi division dimensional, and to be able to take it there. Whereas Machado just took advantage of opportunities. And seized on it. You could say the same for Rodriguez in her last fight, but did it against a much better opposition. But what I would say with Machado, my issues with her is I feel like footwork could be a lot better. I saw her in one of her fights, she's fighting just a straight up BJJ player fighter, and they were just sloppy and long and just running at her swinging. And Machado was just getting backed up just by a slap. Like she didn't know how to cut an angle. The chick just kept backing her up till her legs got tired, her knock knee self got tired, run her down. And then Machado, then Machado would get left off the hook. But then again, another chick not, had pillow hands, so like, was she ever in any danger? Big pillow handed the jitsu player swinging her um, branches at you, gonna do any damage to you, but still. I would like to see better footwork. I see like a check hook, cut an angle, maybe level change, hit shoulder bumper off her balance or something. I don't know. Duck under, catch her with overhand. Somebody come with you swinging big things, like big little, weak little hands at you, chin up in the air. You gotta make them pay for that. But either way, I just feel like Machado. Her best opportunity in this fight is going to be given to her by Piero Rodriguez, who I feel at times likes to play the striking game a little too much. I'm not saying Machado's a better striker. I like to say Piero Rodriguez is a better fighter in every area, but the fact that you will give a striker a chance to just strike in their, you know, that round where they're one round, that's gives them opportunity. And that's opens up opportunity for Machado. But ultimately, I feel like, again, the pressuring, I don't like how Machado reacts to pressure. And Piero Rodriguez will pressure. She will look to control that center of the ring. And Machado's already ultimately give up the, the back foot. Easily when pressured or when somebody's throwing combination at her, she just likes to go straight back. That's a bad recipe. And Pierre Rodriguez, I feel like she could chain combination together, constantly put Machado on the back. But I feel like she's a heavier hitting fighter. She's a more technical striker, more experienced fighter, more composed fighter. Constantly get Machado on her back foot, constantly push her back. And then look to maybe level change the score takedown. But I feel like it'll end up probably being more of a striking matchup. Because like I said, I don't feel like Rodriguez mixes mixes it to the ground enough. I feel like she loves in love with her striking. Machado's in love with her striking. Rodriguez might have that other element or be stronger in that other element. But she's not going to necessarily be the one looking to take it there or consistently looking to take it. Maybe don't want to take it down there. But ultimately, I feel like it's going to be a striking matchup. And I feel like Piara Rodriguez's experience, her power, her forward pressure, and activity rate is going to allow her to get her hand raised. I don't think she stops Machado, but I do think she beats her by decision. So in this fight, I have Piara Rodriguez via decision.